There are many interesting personality disorders. It can be quite easy to confuse which are which. Many of them have overlapping characteristics and as a result, people can be misdiagnosed by amateur analysis. Avoidant personality disorder, also known as anxious personality disorder. Those affected who display a pattern of social inhibition, feelings of inadequacy and inferiority, extreme sensitivity to negative evaluation and avoidance of social interaction despite a strong feeling, a strong desire to be close to others. Individuals who suffer from this disorder tend to describe themselves as uneasy, anxious, lonely, unwanted and isolated from others. Major Depressive Disorder, also known simply as depression, is a mental disorder characterised by at least two weeks of low mood that is present across most situations. It is often accompanied by low self-esteem, loss of interest in normal, enjoyable activities, low energy and pain without clear cause. People may also occasionally have false beliefs or see or hear things that others cannot perceive. Some people have periods of depression, separated by years, in which they are normal, while others nearly always have symptoms present. Major depressive disorder negatively affect a person's family, work or school life, sleeping and eating habits and general health. Between 2 and 7% of adults with major depression die by suicide and up to 60% of people who die by suicide have depression or other mood disorders. Antisocial personality disorder, also known as dissocial personality disorder or sociopathy, is a personality disorder characterized by a pervasive pattern of disregard for or in violation of the rights of others. An impoverished moral sense or conscience is often apparent, as well as a history of crime, legal problems or impulsive and aggressive behavior. Narcissistic personality disorder is a long-term pattern of abnormal behavior characterized by exaggerated feelings of self-importance, an excessive need for admiration and a lack of understanding of others. People with this disorder can often take advantage of their interpersonal relationships. They can be excessively preoccupied with personal adequacy, power, prestige and appearance. Those with NPD generally lack awareness into their own condition. The behaviour typically begins by early adulthood. Borderline personality disorder, also known as emotionally unstable personality disorder, is a long-term pattern of abnormal behaviour characterised by unstable relationships with other people, unstable sense of self and unstable emotions. There is often an extreme fear of abandonment, frequent dangerous behaviour, a feeling of emptiness and self-harm. Symptoms may be brought on by seemingly normal events. The behaviour typically begins by early adulthood. Substance abuse, depression, eating disorders are commonly associated with BPD. About 10% of those with BPD die by suicide. Histrionic personality disorder is defined by the American Psychiatric Association as a personality disorder characterised by a pattern of excessive attention seeking. It usually begins in early adulthood as with a great many conditions. It can include inappropriately seductive behaviour and an excessive need for approval. Histrionic people are lively, dramatic, enthusiastic and flirtatious. HPD affects four times as many women as men. Two to three percent in a general population and 10 to 15 percent in inpatient and outpatient mental health institutions. Disassociative identity disorder, previously known as multiple personality disorder, is a mental disorder characterized by at least two distinct and relatively enduring identities or disassociated personality states that immediately show in the person's behavior, accompanied by memory impairment for important information 
not explained by ordinary forgetfulness. These symptoms are not accounted for by substance abuse, seizures or other medical conditions, nor by imaginative play in children. Bipolar disorder, formerly manic depression, is a mental health disorder with periods of depression and periods of elevated mood. The elevated mood is significant and is known as mania or hypomania, depending on its severity or whether the symptoms of psychosis are present. During mania, an individual behaves or feels abnormally energetic, happy or irritable. Individuals often make poorly thought out decisions with little regard to the consequences. The need for sleep is usually reduced during these manic phases. During periods of depression, there may be crying, a negative outlook on life. The risk of suicide among those with the illness is high while self-harm occurs in 30 to 40 percent. Other mental health issues such as anxiety disorders and substance use disorder are commonly associated with bipolar.